every year, growers in Western Australia's low rainfall zone have a proportion of canola that fails to germinate, and it seems to be influenced by different factors each time. These issues with canola establishment were raised at GRDC's National Grower Network Forums, and the result was a GRDC investment led by Living Farm aiming to validate and extend agronomic and management research on how to successfully establish canola in the low rainfall zones of WA. To maximise yields, we sow as early as we can, but you know there are risks involved with that. And uh, sometimes when those risks go wrong and challenges arise, it can turn out badly in a big way. So this project is about stopping the big failures or trying to limit the big failures. In the 2021 season, there was the opportunity to sow into moist soil and the rate of failure was about 20%. Whereas when sown dry, some growers have suggested it can be up to 50% of the area sown that has poor establishment. In the low rainfall zone, the main challenge, as the name suggests, is the limited opportunity to establish a crop. We might only have an early rainfall opportunity and yeah, it might be like this year, the last chance we get for six weeks. So we want to be able to establish as much as we can and increase our gross margin as much as possible. Across the 2022 and 2023 seasons, there are 14 trials spread across the low rainfall zone at locations including Yuna, Morrowa, Meriden, Southern Cross, Bruce Rock, Hyden and Salmon Gums, giving an ideal geographical spread. While we can all get moisture at the right time at the start of April, the challenges in the north of the state are probably related more to temperature and soil temperature and the problems in the south of the state are different, cold temperatures, damaging winds, that sort of stuff. So it's really important to get a cross-section of the different growing environments and also this is a visual project so the farmers need to see it, the grower groups need to see it and, to, and really interact and discuss what's going on and what we're testing. The reason why we wanted the trial on our property is just to really gauge some different trial practices against what we were doing as our farming practice. So different sowing depths, fertiliser rates, wetters and things like that versus what we were doing on a paddock scale to have a judge and a look to see because there's only so many things we can try. The trials themselves are fairly simple and based on a plus or minus model. At each site, different treatments were either added or taken away in different combinations to see how they interact with timer sowing, seeding rate, seeding depth, soil wetters, variety, and UAM placement, all tested in various mixes. What we think we're gonna find is rather than be able to tell growers exactly what they need to do, we'll, we'll have a list of things that they shouldn't do. And so these are the sorts of things that you shouldn't chase moisture in these types of conditions because you're likely to, it's a higher risk approach. Only results at harvest will tell the full story, but information gathered in 2022 and lessons discovered during seeding this year have already provided valuable learnings. In the south maybe, and we're still unpicking what this is, seed size, so grading your seed seems to be a positive for canola establishment. And particularly in the north, one of the things we found last year was taking advantage of, a, of an early break, you know, this is early April, late March, can be risky because the soil temperatures can be mid-30s a week or so later while there's tiny canola seeds trying to come out of the ground. And we found it really affected the establishment. It is important to note that conditions during seeding at many of the trial sites were wetter than usual, with decent breaks occurring in both seasons. But that hasn't stopped growers from picking up important takeaways. So far what we've been learning from it is when you have as much rainfall as we did and it's seeded as it did, it generally all tends to come up when you like, which is nice. But some of the different seeding depths, it's yeah, pretty clear that the shallower depths, early on it can dry away from it and your establishment is reduced and yeah, later on you don't want it down too deep because it takes too long for it to germinate. As the trial goes on throughout the season, I guess we're looking to probably discover is the, is the early vigour that we've gotten from the different treatments going to translate to yield as depending on the finish that we get in the rainfall throughout the season. With the project coming to a close at the end of the season, Living Farm believes this project has the ability to help more growers going forward. While this is really important research for the guys in the low rainfall zone, some of the, some of the outcomes from this will be 
uh, easily applicable in, um, in areas that are more amenable to growing canola. Mm -hmm.